What's up everyone? Hi. Hope everyone's doing good today. So we are in Atlantic City, New Jersey, and it's a little eerie feel. It's literally every casino and business that makes a lot of money in Atlantic City is closed right now. Uh, this gigantic building right here is closed. And it's kind of crazy because a lot of these businesses the casino businesses were already financially in ruin before this happened so i don't really know how this is going to affect the local economy overall but probably bad but today we are going to be metal detecting on the beach and basically this is the only metal detector that we own it's a white's prism 3 very outdated and I've been told by people that it's not really the greatest metal detector for a beach treasure hunting, but we don't care. We're gonna try it anyway and see what we can find. So other than everything else that's going on, it is a beautiful day out and we are blessed to be able to enjoy each other's company and have a little fun. So ready to find some goods. That guy's staring at him. At us. He was though. He still is. That guy was creepy. But whatever. <laughs> I could guarantee you that we could run faster than that guy. He can hardly stand up. So. But Sammy's dad does normally work in this humongous building right here. Uh, he builds like, I mean, table games and stuff actually the project that we saw so pretty cool carpentry kind of work and whatever else needs to be done I don't even get it is the beach just closed that would just be terrible yeah so potentially the guy all the way down should we go to the beach access that was right in front of us? No, right around this pier is like a sand thing. Like it goes down on the sand. Do you know what I mean? All right, well, let's see what we can do today. White's metal detector and a few hours and we're gonna see what we can find. So stay tuned. Hopefully we find something really good. So we can show it to B Colt and make him mad. <sighs> All right, not quite sure if the beaches are actually closed or if they're just trying to deter people from going down there, but I don't know. They got like metal gates up here. Not closed, right? All right, she just looked it up. She said they're not closed. Maybe this just drops off right here so they don't want people to get hurt. Best life. This guy's Those getting snacks, snacks though. Look at them. Get those snack snacks. Beach squirrels. Anybody they haven't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For real though. Beach squirrel life. Beach squirrels. He's so cute. I could just walk up this and then down this, down the tightrope. How are you gonna get over? This is the track. <laughs> and so I could tightrope down it. Oh, oh. <laughs> Almost made it, right? No way. Dude. <laughs> Yo. You can't get down there? We can just walk down there and go, right? You guys can see. 
you can see why. I could just like take my knife, jump down and then ride down this tarp like, you know, on a pirate ship, how they do it? Should we try and do it? All right, we actually had cat food we were gonna bring down to Tim. But uh, it looks like we found a different colony down here that we've never visited before. Cats here. How many should say right there? Kiki! Where's the ginger key I just saw? Down here. They don't have any food though. This is an alley cat allies uh, colony. So you can see the paper right there. But uh, yeah, we saw a cat here. But it looks to be like there's at least 10 from how many houses there are. I mean, you gotta put it on those plates, am I right? Crab Crazy. walk in there. Crab walk in there. Hey. Oh! Hey! Look! Look, I got you some snacks! Some weddies, look! Come on! What happened to the Kiki? Not having you, huh? He wasn't having you. Me? Yeah. I'm not even under there. He wasn't having me. You're sh He's like, this guy took 10 minutes to get me my weddies. Come on to him. Don't you know I'm hungry? Didn't find this metal detecting, but <laughs> this is cool. It's from the casino, obviously. the first beach access that we've seen that wasn't blocked off and it might just be for the beach bar we're not sure all right this is exactly where we wanted to be to detect right out here where the beach bar was hopefully people coming down here not hopefully but people probably coming down here and losing money and stuff jewelry so, gonna detect around here a little bit. Right Should I dig it? Yeah. Here. Still there. I think I have it. Alright. Or now? Yeah. There's a plastic cap. There we go. First find of the day. Little penny. Not bad. So you can put it in the big park there. In the in this one or the big one? The big guy. Alright, penny. Not bad, not bad. Check this out. This is part of the Land Shark Beach Bar and the erosion of the ocean because they haven't had money or time to displace the sand, basically with dredging. Uh, pulled down all these like, I don't know, just destroyed the beach bar. Look at this. All the palm trees that they had covered and everything. This fire pit's about to fall off the edge here into the sand. This is crazy. You got a hit? Right here. Got it. I got it. Really? Really?
I'm not seeing it in there. Looks like a dime, maybe, right? Quarter? It's a dime. dime. That's a lie. Why am I saying that? It's a nickel. All right. Is this guy gonna yell at us? So put it in here. I don't know who this guy is, but I don't think he's trying. I think he's trying to come down here and check it out, like we are. What is it? I put it in my pocket. I was just trying to... Look, this guy's wondering what's going on with the beach bar down here, too. Shooting photos. These are strange looking seabirds. They're not seagulls. And they have, like, red beaks. So, as we were on the beach, we came across these birds that we usually don't see and I posted a video to my Instagram and Ty Tyler messaged me and said that they were oyster catchers and that they that they're endangered so I guess that's what they were they were super cute red beaks black and white but it was just unusual to see them on the beach all right got a hit watch out See you again. Might be a lot of dirt in here. And a lot of, uh, look at that. Well, we're not taking that. Well, that's a souvenir. I could throw it up in the trash, but is that even like. They have to clean this whole beach, to be honest. We maybe should bring it. I'm feeling there's going to be a lot of weird metal pieces in here. Ten all together, I was saying. There she blows. Two thousand fifteen penny. Do I not have it? Tin foil. Tin foil. I can't imagine what somebody would be using that for. It's like a piece to the top of a liquor bottle. Like, you know, the tin foil around the top. I didn't show this before, but this was like the beach bar sign out front of it. And you can see like, it. I don't know, it said Land Shark, I guess, beach bar up on here. And then there's like a surfboard there. And these are like metal poles. Oh, now I'm all wet. But like those are giant metal poles that were holding up this big 
banner for the beach bar and it just all collapsed and fell down. So we did see a guy up here taking pictures of it and we truly do think that he was sending them off to like, probably not Jimmy Buffett himself, but their management company to say like, listen guys, we have a serious problem here. Like if this keeps getting worse, the whole bar is gonna fall into the water. Cause it's literally only 40, it's not even, I would say 20 feet to the actual structure. So that could be real crazy. Mr. Seagull stomping his feet, it was so cute. It was like, it was so cute, you missed it. You missed it! Let's go out front of this beach bar and try. Right. And then we'll go to the next location. Watch this guy stomp his feet when he tries to get snake snakes. This one. He stomped it into the sand to look for him now. Right there? Yep. Uh, it could be deep, that's probably why. The problem is there's so much like iron in the sand that the pinpoint picks that up too. Like the stuff that we're not looking for. all these rocks down down here I feel like that was the metal right there but it was right nah wow look at this all this stuff got washed away from like beach bars and stuff and they're throwing it away but look could you imagine how expensive this is like a 12 by two or an 18 by two. Pressure treated by like, I don't know, at least 12 feet long, maybe 18 feet. And there's like four or five of them. Could you imagine how expensive that would be to buy? Not that I'm gonna take these, but wow. The amount of driftwood in here that you could build stuff with. You could build a small house with all this wood. Got it? Let's hit it. I see it right there. Got it? I think so. Right. Penny. Put it in there. Ooh. Look at these two little babies. Little tuxedo cats hanging out on the beach. <laughs> baby one and baby two. Inside there? Nah. Excuse me, sir. This casino is closed. He's like, you. you need a hunting permit? Uh, <laughs> well, should we give us that? Yeah. Stop yelling at him and give him some snake snacks. Look at him go. He's just cruising, dude.
Alright, so our friend Tim, uh, if you guys keep up on our other videos, he is one of the people who takes care of the Alley Cat Allies down at the boardwalk here in Atlantic City, New Jersey. And unfortunately, he's homeless, so from time to time we like to bring him like snacks and uh, food for the cats. And today we're going to bring him a blanket, some pillows for the cats, um, and the blankets for the cats, and then just like little snacks. This is nothing crazy. And the food. And the cat and food for the cats. Did you grab that or no? No. All right. So that's what we're doing. We were just getting a little concerned about the situation down here. Not knowing if they were, you know, giving him money to buy food for the cats. Because usually the organization that he works with will give him like a little allowance to get the food. But considering everything that's going on, we don't even know. Alright, so now we're in Longport, which is kind of near Atlantic City, but there's less people here. Atlantic City was a little bit uh, too crowded for our liking. Like, there wasn't that many people, like there usually is, but too many people considering the circumstances. So, we came to Longport, and we're going to try to see if we can find anything cool here. Other than pennies. <laughs> Do so. It's so cool. <laughs> I got it right up. It's super cool. It's gotta be a nail because it's not, or like a piece of steel or something. Sure, it doesn't have to do with that log. I see it. I see it. What is that? Is it part of that? No, it's just another big chunk. It's a chunk. How was it even picking that up? What is it? It's huge. It's huge. Ah, it weighs a lot. chunk all right keep going see if that's what it was yeah it is what it was this thing gnarly Ha, <laughs> 
<laughs> Dude, there is some crazy metal down here. Another chunk? Look at this. What is that? I don't know where it's coming from. That's what I'm playing with. Little paint roller. Big old chunks of metal out here. What is this from? Here, grab this. All right, that was uh, pretty short lived. It's actually freezing cold out and even though I had the metal detector set on not picking up cast iron or iron, it still was. Um, and we kept finding like giant chunks of metal. And I don't understand why there's so much of that on the beach, but I guess it washes off from like marine construction or old bulkheads and docks. But uh, yeah, we didn't find actual treasure. We did find a bunch of coins and we had a good time. Do you think in the future we are going to have to get a metal detector that is more fit for the beach because the beach is where we would be doing most of our detecting. So I don't know our if people are numb. If people know of, I know there's like the one Be Cold has is like an Equinox, I think 600 or the lesser of the two, which is the 600 I think. I'm not sure exactly, but I guess we would be leaning towards something like that at some point in the future. Not anytime soon because they're really expensive. But uh, you do get a lot of good exercise metal detecting, so it's never a waste of time. And it's always enjoyable. Hope you guys enjoyed Stay watching. Positive. We saw some black and white cats on the beach. We saw some tuxies on the beach. If you guys have any neighborhood cats, if you don't already have cats, feed them, love them. Kiss them, hug and, them. And buy them an igloo condo. Buy them an igloo condo if you can, or just make one. You can make a cat house, it's not hard. It's a burden, but it's not hard. And this guy has a Maserati, and I just was looking at the rotors on it, and they're literally so rusty just from sitting down here in the salt air, like, I don't know, a few hundred feet from the ocean. Not what I would do with my car, but. Alright, see you guys. I'm not worried about it though. See you guys in the next one. Peace. You.